Welcome to the very first episode of my fitness YouTube channel. <laughs> Alright, as you know, we were just doing Swipe Socials for the last 10 episodes, leading up to the release of my music video, Swipe. Swipe last, swipe right, first guy, see I like, I ain't trying to waste my time, so I gotta take a line. I hope y'all watched it, you enjoyed it, you shared it with your friends. I appreciate all the support. The last 10 episodes, I hope you got some tips about how to date online, and I hope you met some cool people and had a good time. Now I'm going to give you some fitness tips so y'all can look good and have a good time while you're working out at the gym. So for today's episode, episode number one, we are going to teach you about gym etiquette. Let's get into it. Tip number one is body odor, okay? Well, that's not a tip, that's a title, but body odor is an issue, okay? The other day I was at the gym, and I'm like on the treadmill running, this guy comes up, he smelled so bad, like B.O., that I literally had to get off the treadmill and go work out somewhere else, because I was gonna pass out. He smelled that bad. So if you have that bad of body odor, like put on some deodorant before you go to the gym, and wash your gym clothes. They're not like, oh, I can wear the same gym clothes every week. No, well, wear them once and wash them. You sweat in them, all right? So just follow those little pieces of advice. The other thing is cologne. I, I don't find it with women. I don't smell people, chicks perfume in the gym, but guys, it's like, they're like, oh, they re recognize they have body odor, but instead of washing their clothes and putting on, putting on deodorant, they psh, spray themselves down with some cologne. And that's almost worse than the BO because you smell like the underlying BO, then you have the cologne on top of that. And I'm sensitive to like scents like that, so I almost pass out. The combination is just deadly. So please, don't try to cover your BO with cologne. Just like fix the problem at its source, all right? Got that one? Let's move on to the next one. For the women, makeup, okay? You know, I get it if you're coming straight from work and you go to the gym and you, you have like your work makeup on and you're gonna work out because you don't have your face washed with you. That's cool. No hard feelings against that. But if you are going to the gym in the morning and you literally get up and you put on makeup to go to the gym, that's a problem, like for real. Like when I see girls that have more makeup on at the gym than I would wear going out to a nightclub, that ain't cool. Uh, especially lipstick. Like really, if you're gonna like freshly apply your lipstick before you go to the gym, for real, ladies, come on. Like, are you really trying to pick up someone that bad at the gym? Like maybe on like Friday night, I could see you doing that. You're like, ah, I'm not going out. So whoever's at the gym on Friday night is obviously single too. So fuck it, I'm gonna throw some lipstick on. Nah, I'll let you get away with that one. But like Monday to Thursday, mm -mm. no makeup at the gym, ladies. Come on, be real. Okay, another one for the men grunting at the gym. I understand that you want to breathe out when you're exerting energy and lifting weights. That's cool. Avoid the Valsalva. But for real, like excessive grunting is just annoying. Like I wear music at the gym and if I can hear you grunting over my own tunes, that's too much, all right? No loud grunting. Just breathe out normally without making like ridiculous manly sounds. <sighs> It's like you're trying to show that you're tough by grunting. Stop it. It ain't cool. All right? Same goes for like women. I don't know if anyone else has seen this or if it's just me, but it's really fucking weird when women make like sexual noises as they're doing like crunches. Like it totally sounds like they're either having sex or giving birth. It's a weird combination of the two. But like just be aware of the sounds that come out of your mouth when you're at the gym. Okay? Just like keep it in check a little bit. All right, so this goes for men and women. Cell phone use at the gym. Now, I get it, I bring my cell phone to the gym too because my music, my tunes are on my cell phone and attached to wireless headphones. So I have it with me. That being said, I do not answer it at the gym unless it's like an emergency or something. And I'll look at who's calling and not answer. But like, especially chicks that are at the gym and they like answer the phone while they're on the treadmill and they're like having like a full out conversation while they're working out slash walking on the treadmill, like go do that shit at home. When you go to the gym, you're there to like work out and sweat. And if you can hold a conversation while you think you're working out on the treadmill, you're not. So put the phone away, like call your friend back later and get to work. No cell phones up in here. They even say it on the walk, for real. Yeah, just like the long rest breaks thing, like guys that are like, you know, trying to build strength and they just like hang out for days in between sets. like. 
I get it if that's your workout plan you do what you gotta do but like don't like hog equipment and just like sit there like or like if it's like there's one squat rack in the gym and you're doing squats and then you decide that you're just gonna take like a 20 minute break in between your sets not cool or at least like let someone work in with you so just be considerate of the people around you when you're taking your long ass rest breaks that goes for the men ladies don't do that shit we do like circuits and crap all right we wouldn't just be chilling out, chatting, hanging out for like a long period of time in between our sets. So keep them short or move off. One of my favorites, dropping weights. How many times have you seen someone just be like, I don't know, deadlifting and on their last set, they're like, it's clearly the weight just got too heavy on their last set and they just drop it. They just drop it like a time. Like, for real? Take a second, if you can't lift the weight, if you can't put the weight back down, then you shouldn't be lifting that weight. So don't be dropping weights like that. And like the worst is like when people are like doing curls and they drop their weights, like that's just totally unnecessary and ridiculous. You're not cool. You're just making a fool out of yourself. So stop dropping the weights. Put them down nicely, all right? Be considerate to others around you and the floor, all right? Some floors are not meant to drop weights. You can break shit, you can wreck shit. So don't fuck with it. Don't drop the weights, put them back. Something about public gyms is like they're, they're really dirty. Like so many people are sweating all over equipment. And like, I see a lot of people at this new gym that do not wipe their equipment down. Like to the point where b before I get on a, a cardio machine, like I just wipe my shit down before I even get on it. Cause I don't want any other people's germs. And then afterwards I wipe it down again. Like keep it clean. I don't want to be like all up in your sweaty ass mat after you've used it. All right. So just take the little wipers, wipe down your shit. Well, I'll get along. No one's gonna get sick. All right. <laughs> Last but not least, ladies, actually, this goes for dudes too, for sure. Do not check yourself out while you're at the gym. Like, while you're doing bicep curls and you're just checking yourself out, being like, damn, I look good. Like, I'm getting some pipes. No. Or like ladies, like they'll just stop and pose and they'll like get the right angle and then they'll start like doing an exercise. And you're like, for real? Like the mirror is there so you have good form, but don't be like looking at your face and fixing your bangs and like, oh, like trying to get the perfect angle so you can like do your fucking exercise. Like just get her done. You're there for a purpose to work out, not to show off. So I hope that was helpful for you. And I hope people in my surrounding area watch this so that I don't have to deal with these problems anymore, specifically the body odor. Please, dudes, watch this video. But yeah, take the tips, roll with it, get yourself to the gym. And uh, next week, we're going to be going over some fitness tips for certain exercises. So if y'all want to know something, feel free to comment below and I can bring it up in a video and I can teach you and educate you. That's what it's all about, right? Working out safe and having a good time at the gym. All right. So that's the first episode of my fitness clip. Hope y'all liked it. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, like the video and comment, and I'll see you next week. Peace.